take a look at what Krishna is saying on this slide. Do you notice the warning of ego and selfishness? Let me tell you, young folks, a story I have shared in class over the years. There was a student of mine, let's call her Chloe. She was such a good student, working so hard to get a good grade. Now, Chloe happened to be living with her boyfriend, Jed. They were living in sin. Chloe so wanted to get a great grade for Jed, it was toward the end of that semester. She came to me asking if she had received an A. I told her that I wasn't allowed to tell her her letter grade, but I did tell her that she would be pleased. Chloe jumped for joy and began planning to surprise Jed with her grade. Now Jed usually takes a nap while Chloe is in school. In her excitement, Chloe went to Chipotle to purchase a meal for her and Jed to enjoy after she told him the great news. Chloe quietly entered their apartment and tiptoed into the bedroom to surprise Jed. Guess what Chloe saw? OMG, WTF, Jed wasn't alone. Chloe was so shocked and saddened. Jed did her wrong like a country song. What mistake did Chloe make? Chloe should not have worked for a good grade for someone else. Not only that, she should not even try to get a gr good grade for herself. That sounds very difficult. That's very karma yoga-like. But guess what? Those authors of the Bhagavad Gita try to include everything. You remember that Krishna happens to be a god. So if you can't just do it, in a karma yoga sense, get your good grades for God. If there needs to be an attachment to your action, the Bhagavad Gita provides an ultimate reference point that doesn't disappoint like Jed.